This is Jason Phillips from Auto Appraise. You're riding along in a red 1966 Chevelle. Down in Clarkston, Michigan. The car belongs to Southern Motors. It's a 454 four-speed car. It's a true 138 thin car, so it's a true SS. And it tracks the road pretty nicely. That's hands off the wheel about 60 miles an hour. I'm going to stab on the brakes here, see what, which way it goes. It pulls just slightly to the right. Haven't had a chance to look at the brakes yet. Looks like somebody's going to pull out in front of me and spoil my fun. That's too bad. The car steers nice. It doesn't have too much excessive play. There's a little bit of wind in the power steering pump. We'll check the fluid when we return. It doesn't seem like the motor's uh, overly aggressive or built, built hard. <coughs> Excuse me. Got a very nice little mild cam lope mostly due to exhaust probably, the rumble. But it tracks down the road pretty good. We're probably doing about 60. The speedometer's inoperative, therefore the odometer's not turning. This is a 55 mile an hour zone. And I don't have a license plate on, so we don't want to cause too much grief. obviously a transplant, not an original 396, which is what the car came with. The horn is inoperative, as is the heater blower motor. And the heater controls, they don't seem to be moving too freely. Turn signals all flash. Brake lights, headlights, brights, etc. Everything works except the right brake light is inoperative and the uh, reverse lights aren't working. On the gauges, the oil pressure gauge seems to be grounded out. It comes on and goes to the top after I start the motor. The temperature gauge is currently inoperative. It's all the way down at the bottom. Alternator and fuel gauge both appear to be working. shifter and see what uh, overall a nice day to be cruising in a red convertible I'll tell you that it's about 90 degrees up here in Michigan just before Memorial Day weekend we're test driving a 1966 Chevelle SS convertible 138 car. Jason Phillips from Auto Appraise.